Yes, the footage that you're seeing on screen right now is Marvel Spider-Man 2 in January of 2024, three months after the game's release. And yes, I'm a white cube that shoots webs and crawls walls. I had to make this video because honestly this was the weirdest bug that happened to me while playing Marvel Spider-Man 2. The more I play, the more bugs that I find. I haven't even played 100 hours of this game and the amount of bugs that I have found just by casually playing the game and not even trying to bug the game is just unbelievable. And Sonic already said they are gonna be fixing the bugs, they are working on an update that is gonna fix them and also add new features that were missing in the game. But it's been three months since the game launched, and this can only tell me one thing. They did rush the release of Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Think about it with me for a second here. It's been three months since they released the game, and they still haven't been able to release an update to fix the bugs that we have in the game, and to release the features that should already have been in the game when it launched, like New Game Plus, Replay Missions, and everything. If it's taking them three months to do that, it probably means that they've got a lot of work to do. And I can completely understand why they've got so much work to do, because the amount of bugs that you can find in this game is just huge. It feels like they haven't even tested the game before launching. They just completed the game, and when it was time for someone to test it, they said, okay, let's launch it like that, let's do this, and then we're gonna be fixing the bugs as they appear. Before we continue, I just wanna remind you to leave me a thumbs up to support my work, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to receive more content like this. And this is a huge problem in the case of Marvel Spider-Man 2, because the game is already below the standards of how much the game offers you in terms of new experience. One of the biggest critics criticisms that the game got before its release was that it only gave you 30 hours of new content if you completed the game 100%. Another great games that launch on the same year such as Zelda Tears of the Kingdom offers you 55 to 70 hours of new content for the exact same price or even the game of the year Baldur's Gate 3 offers you 61 hours just of the main content. They say it can take you up to 150 if you want to complete the game 100%, again for the exact same price of Marvel Spider-Man 2. If you're a Spider-Man fan, of course you're going to be getting the game and you're going to be happy, but you gotta consider that there are people out there thinking, okay, should I buy this game or that one? It's the same price, which one is going to give me the most amount of fun? If you're already offering less amount of content than most games in the market, then you gotta make sure that the content that you're offering is extremely good to make sure it's worth the price. In the case of Marvel Spider-Man 2, it's such a pity because the game is amazing, it's so fun to play, but it has so many bugs and problems and at the same time is missing basic features that it feels like an incomplete game. I already talked about why this is a huge problem for games in general, but especially to the future of Marvel Spider-Man 2, because this, what you're seeing on screen right now, is on the disc version of the game. This is the only way for you to play the game in the future when it's no longer available on digital stores. And imagine that this is the experience that you're gonna be getting, because Insomniac did not test their game before putting it out there. Yes, if they launch another disc version in the future with all the updates and the DLCs in case we got them, then it's fine, we're gonna be able to save the game for the future. But the first time experience for those who bought the game before they fixed the bugs is never coming back. What is the worst bug that happened to you in Marvel Spider-Man 2? Tell me in the comments because I'm sure that if you play the game, you definitely got at least one bug happening. I'm also gonna leave a card up here for my other Marvel Spider-Man discussions. If you're also a fan, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy those. Thank you so much for watching, be respectful to others in the comment section, and let's be greater together.